So you need to make a video and you don't know where to start, nor do you have any idea what production is, audio, lighting, that sort of thing. In this video, I'm gonna unpack something called the ALF method, which is perfect for if you don't have any equipment or gear, but you also know nothing about video. What this will do is if you could follow the elements in this video, you'll make videos that are better than 80% of what's out there. So let's dive right into it. It's called the ALF method because it gives us this great acronym. If you are old like me, ALF was a show from the 80s about an alien who had cats and it was a terrible show, but it did give us this fantastic acronym. So let's go through it. The A is first for a reason. We care about audio more than lighting, video, anything else in the early stage. And the reason is because we'll watch a video where we can hear what's being said, we can make out the speech, but the visuals are kind of poor, whereas we will not do the inverse. Humans don't wanna watch a video with garbled speech where you can't hear what's being said, but the visuals are beautiful. So we need to focus on audio first. One of the easiest things to do to up the quality of your audio is to turn off loud noises around you. So your air conditioning, HVAC, if your refrigerator buzzes, maybe shut the door to the kitchen so we don't hear that. But what you wanna do is remove the ambient sounds. And if you do that, your ability for your iPhone or your computer to pick up what you're saying will be that much better. Next, let's get into lighting. When we talk about lighting, the most important thing is to prioritize the face. You may have some cool artwork behind you. Don't worry about lighting that. We want to light the face because if we light the face, we can make out facial expressions. And facial expressions are what allow our message to be heard, right? We can convey nuance, subtlety. It's much easier to use sarcasm. Whatever it is we're trying to say, it's going to be conveyed more powerfully if we can see your face while you express it. So prioritize lighting the face. Avoid backlighting. Backlighting is when you have a strong source of light behind you and it shines behind you into the camera. This makes it look like you're getting interviewed as a witness on a crime show, which is again, not the look we're going for. A good tactic is to face a mirror. If you face a mirror, there's a better chance the light will be hitting you head on and it'll be nice and even. A pro tip here is to film during the golden hour. The golden hour is the 30 minutes before sunset or the 30 minutes after sunrise. Light at this time of day is very diffuse and it just coats your face and will make everything look good. So again, choosing that time will cause your lighting to look spectacular. Avoid overhead lights. When you have overhead lights on, what they're gonna do is create raccoon eyes because the way the light is coming down over your face. So turn off your overhead lights. That's it for lighting. Let's get into framing, which is how we position ourselves in the camera. First off is we want to stabilize the shot. Holding the camera up in front of you where it's wobbly, again, not professional. So if you have a tripod, great. If you don't, there's tons of alternatives one can use to stabilize the camera, and it doesn't really matter as long as the camera is situated and still so the shot stays steady. You wanna minimize the headroom, okay? Headroom is the distance from the top of your head to the top of the frame. And if there is a massive empty space there, it's not a good look. So it's okay if you pack in pretty tightly. You don't need that space to be huge. It's okay also if you're a little too tall rather than a little too short in the frame, but minimize your headroom. Another thing is to keep the camera at eye level. The reason video is so powerful, if we're making one, we want to connect with our audience. And if the camera is below eye level, it looks like we're looking down at the audience, which is a feeling we don't wanna to convey to anyone. Keeping the camera at eye level means that we are connecting more deeply and the shot will look better. Also, don't forget to look at the camera lens, right? Especially if you're using a phone and you can see, uh, see yourself in the screen, we, we don't wanna look at that. Look at the lens, because again, that'll increase that sense of connection. So, an interesting question is, why do banks when you walk into a bank, there is stone and marble, the materials they use for that building. The reason they do that is to convey strength and security. What they want you to feel is that if you put your money in this particular bank, you can trust them to keep it. No one's gonna steal it because of all this strong environment of these materials. That is your background doing work before anyone had to explain anything to you. You want to take the same approach with your videos and you want to think about the background that you use. There's a lot of different ways to convey something. 
This person has nice, minimalist, super clean background. She comes across as professional, well-organized. This guy's got the bookshelf, right? Good old bookshelf and books behind it is a great way to convey, hey, I'm a smart person and I have thought about things, uh, which very often is something we want to convey in videos. This is Lily Singh, who for many years in her YouTube career, her production studio was her closet. So she walked into her closet, moved the clothes aside, and her background was these pictures that she put up that are fun and vibrant and engaging and lets you get a sense of the joy she's using and the joy that she has when she does this. This gentleman also has a very fun background, big, bright colors. He's got some comic book imagery, but it's conveying something about what he's trying to get across. And then we have this fella who is, uh, I don't know, I feel like he's going to teach me something about Nietzsche or existential despair. Either way, our backgrounds, they convey different things about us. And our videos are usually trying to accomplish something for us, whether it's get a job or convince an investor to back us. We want to convey the right things when we're on video. And your background is one way to do that. So, y'all, that is the ALF method. Thank you for watching this. I hope it is helpful. If it is helpful, let me know in the comments. I'd love to know how it benefited you and if ALF was able to help you make better videos. All right, good luck. Peace. Mm -hmm.